It's better than the five hundred dollars you're gonna spend. Business. Writing, Chuck producing, so acting. Hi, and welcome back to The Casting Couch. I am your host, Todd Stroik. This is my beautiful co-host. Carrie Kabanoff. Carrie Ka- What? Wait, I thought it was Kabanoffy. Don't confuse the people. They're not confused. It's Cabin Off. Kabanoffy. What? I need Kabanoffy with my coffee. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay? <laughs> All right, fine, whatever. So, we have this really great guest this week. Uh, he's a good friend of mine. His name is John Brantley Cole, and he will soon maybe be your friend if you're nice to him. Steal right? all your friends away. I doubt it. Uh, <laughs> he is a retired actor, a wonderful headshot photographer, a coach. He travels all around the United States. Right. Uh, you can find him in LA. You can find him in Las Vegas. You can even find him on the rooftops of Tiffany in New York. Ooh, wow. Let's look at some of his stuff because he is amazing. Let's awesome, watch his reel super of some of his work. Great, mm-hmm. here we go. Gosh, he's done so much work. Yeah. I can't believe how many shows he's been on, and that is just like a short little reel. Yeah. Like that was thirty seconds. Like a smidge of, of the stuff. That you could probably go on IMDb and check him out and see all of his wonderful work. But um, anyways, let's get to him. Here yeah. he is, my friend and a new friend of Carrie's, yeah. Mr. John Brantley Cole. How are you, buddy? Hey guys, how are you? Thanks for coming. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome to the couch. Thank you for joining us on our casting couch. No, I'm Oops. happy to be here. We're very excited to be shooting our first season out here in Hollywood. Yes. And I think you're just going to be a wonderful guest for us. Okay. You so, better. Yeah. Right. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Listen, no I told you not to talk to our guests like that. Right. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. So what exactly are you doing this whole, you're, you're jumping out of LA and going to Vegas and New York City. I feel like you're going every weekend. So tell us about that. Well, I do. I, I Literally every month I've got like three or four plane tickets <laughs> and I'm flying to Vegas or New York. And I literally just finished shooting a whole bunch of actors on the rooftop of Tiffany's uh, Ooh, main building Tiffany's. on Fifth Avenue. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we're just shooting tons of actors. I've actually shoot between 50 and 80 actors within a three-day period. And it's just... Wait, I'm, wait, wait. I'm, 50 to 80 actors. Yeah, I know. I know. Gosh. In New York. In New York and Vegas, I do. I do I do a big bulk volume of actors because I'm only there for four or five days. So they all sign up and they all shoot with me. In LA, it's a little more relaxed because I'm here on the weekday. But that's what I do. I, I either coach actors or I shoot them to get them agents or get them work. That's great. So are you working with a company or is it just you? Like people are calling you for all of these photo shoots. Who lines that up for you? Oh, I get, I get them everywhere. I have uh, acting schools. I have production companies, managers, agents, my friends, connections. It's it's just a, a big networking mm-hmm. of right. how we get work. Gosh, networking. There's that, that keyword, networking. It's been very interesting. I always tell people, if you're going to get headshots, mm-hmm. get them from a photographer who is either an actor or was an actor or a model. Because, why, why, yeah, why is that? Well, my thing is because if you go with a photographer who studied photography all their, their lives, then they're going to focus on background, texture, ev- uh, everything but this right cool. here. And that's what you're selling. That's Yeah, my goal is not to make the background look beautiful, but to focus on the characters, the people that you're trying to convey in your headshot. So an actor would know what that is. A model would know what that is. So my thing is, is the goal for a headshot is to get a good marketing tool. It's not how pretty you can Wait look. a minute. I always thought when I went and did headshots, I needed to look like the most beautiful Todd Stroik that was out there. Yeah. Okay? That, honey, that would like, take a lot of work. I, I would load those photos up. I would put them on Photoshop. Yeah. And I was like, a paintbrush, paintbrush, slim it down. Right? Okay? Well, you know what, casting directors? You know what I'm talking about. I know you've done it. We all want to, We all want to look perfect. Yeah. But when you walk into that casting audition and that casting director is looking that re, at that retouched photo... Yeah. And then you walk in, if you don't look like your photo, they'll get angry. Yeah. Mm. And so that's what the agents do. They call me up and they're like, you need you need to take photos of my clients because their shots aren't they representing like them. They're, they're not mm. representing not what them. they look like. So yeah, so my goal is, is to make them look as natural and real as possible, but at the same time look good. I right. definitely think it's one of the things that I learned when I first moved to LA. 
because before I was kind of auditioning in and out of New York yeah. and doing mainly theater. So they didn't really care, you know, if you didn't look exactly like your headshot. Yeah. It wasn't until I entered into like the TV and film world here in LA yeah. where it really became important that they're like, well, I need to know exactly where that little speck is on your cheek, yeah. you know? Because it's important to yeah. some people, especially casting and, and directors. Well, and I think a lot of a lot of times too is sometimes it's misinterpretation as well, because I've I know a lot of soap actors uh, who have these beautiful shots and they they look good live, but not as good as their photo. Yeah. So when a casting director calls that photo in, they're expecting that photo yeah, to right. walk in, right. you know, not this other person. So I love when photos walk in. <laughs> <laughs> God, they look so good. Ooh, I got a great one. Okay, so a lot of times I've. You know, a lot of friends in this business, actors and models, they'll go in and they'll think about signing with a new agent or a manager or whatnot. And th those managers and agents turn around and they say, listen, you need new headshots. You need to go get new headshots. Yeah. Do you believe that is true every time? Or do you think some of those agents and managers are out there trying to scam Actors. Yeah, it's what, a little, it's a, you know, it's a little bit of everything. I, I, I think a lot of agents have their favorite uh, uh, photographers, mm -hmm. so they're so used to those photos. And so uh, when they get a new actor and they have different photographers, uh, they, they say, you know what, I kind of have this way of, of representing mm -hmm. my, my clients. But yes, you're right. There are some photo uh, agents who will only suggest certain photographers because it is kind of a kickback kind of thing. Right, right, So right. you want to be careful. Like even when I was an actor, my agent always suggested these photographers for me, but me being a photographer, I was a little more pickier. Right. So I never went with the photographers my managers and yeah. agents okay, went so with. Okay, so I think it's good to know that you should be able to go out and yeah. say, listen, I'm not shooting with just ABC. Like, yeah. thank you for your suggestion. Yeah, You know, if, if an agent requires you to go to a certain photographer, mm -hmm. That's, that's a red flag. Yeah, red that's flag. a bad thing. Or if an agency wants you to give them money. Yes, if you pay them. If Absolutely. you have to pay them to be like, oh, you have to work with our with our photographer. Mm -hmm. Here's the price breakdown. This happened to me in L.A. when I first moved here. Yeah. I was called in by a modeling agency and they said, oh, God, yeah, we love you. We love your look. We know we're going to get you out there. We're going to get you working. But um, we do need new headshots. They need to look exactly like the, the headshots and the body shots that we have with the rest of our models. That's how we work. So we need $800. Yeah, no. You, you got to be careful with those Red flag. Yeah. yeah, they're all over. And they're all over. Gosh, red flag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I feel like I've had girlfriends uh, like that. Red flag. You know, you're like, whoa. Oh. Uh, what's your advice for actors uh, before they come into the photo shoot? Like, how, how can an actor prepare to get the best uh, photos out of their headshot photographer? Okay, well, you know, I have a story real quick. Oh, gosh, yes. I love good stories. <laughs> so, you know, it better be good. We're yeah. cutting it if it's not. All right, so I have, I have this uh, girl. She, she uh, had an agent, suggested my work. She looked on her web, uh, my website. She called me up. She sent an appointment to come in. She comes in, beautiful young girl, Latin, uh, stringy gelled hair like the Julia Robertson pretty woman. Ooh, right? Ooh, nice. Yeah. Gosh, you should be playing those roles. Uh, I've gotten real close. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> but she kind of, you know, to be honest, she kind of <laughs> looked like a girl who, who worked the night because yeah. she came in a tube top. She was very sexy. And she said, this is what I want. I and want she, it was a young girl. Yeah, it was a young oh. girl. About 20s, early 20s. Oh, okay. Well, that's, and, I'm yeah. fine with it then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing. She said, I want sexy, va va voom, you know, Latin, uh, hot, red, that kind of thing. Yeah. We did the shoot. A week later, I get a call from her agent saying, what what was this, John? Yeah. What kind what kind of photos were these? And I I, I was kind of confused. And she's like, we were looking for girl next door Gap oh, wow. type <laughs> type shots. And yeah. I'm like, well, you need to talk to your client. Yeah. Because she said nothing like that. Oh no. She said sexy, leading man, uh, leading female, uh, 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 spicy. And I go, unfortunately, you know, because of your lack of communication, yeah. now she has to. Reshoot. Reshoot right. and do a whole new photo shoot. So with you me. need to be on yes. point. If you have an agent, if you have a manager, be, be on point with what they want. Yes, you can't just do a photo shoot. Figure out, say, hey, I have a photo shoot. I can do three outfits. What looks do what I need to give? Right. Yes, so you don't have to reshoot. Right. And the agent said, hey, we want it professional. We want it, you know, yeah. girl next door. We want it spicy, sexy. I want yeah. those things yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my Sorry, advice, Kara. though, though, if you don't have an agent or manager, this is what I tell my mm -hmm. clients too. Let's say this time, if you don't have rep and you need to get shots and you don't know what kind of shots, I need you to basically talk to your friends. Mm. Say, hey, if I was walking into a club, a bar, a restaurant, mm -hmm. you have no idea who I am, who would you think I was? Am I like, the you know, next the, door. the girl next door, yeah. the little standoffish, Ooh. more business? Why don't we play this game right now? John, Kerry. Wait, hold on. <laughs> 
zombie prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Right? Yeah. So if okay. enough people say zombie Walk, prostitute, dead, then that would be Walking a look. Walking Dead will right. be on right. for a while, yeah. right? I think so. so. Well, well vampires, you know, Twilight, all these yeah. crazy movies. Because you know what? Not all actresses can be the leading female. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's some quirky, there's yeah. some edgy, there, you know, you gotta figure out what you sell because that's what's gonna make you money. Great. Okay, so any last bits of wisdom or tips or advice for actors moving to LA? You know, be, be ready for an adventure. Mm. It's gonna be a lot of hard work. Because I, I've seen, I seen it all. People mm -hmm. want to be stars overnight, and, <laughs> and <laughs> be ready. <laughs> and my thing is, I always tell people in Hollywood, everybody is right and everybody is wrong. Oh gosh, that is really yeah. good. So just take the advice and figure out what's right for you. Right, yeah. right. right. And that's what we tell our, our audience all the time is yeah. we're bringing on all these really great guests mm -hmm. this season. You know, everyone's gonna have a little bit of different advice for from John to Carrie and even yeah. myself. We may not even agree on the advice that we wanna give you. So you have to pick and choose yeah. what you think is gonna work for you and what's not. Because yeah. every actor out here in LA they create their own path. So how um, do we get in touch yeah. with you? How does our audience get in touch with you if they want to book a shoot or find out more about you? How oh, do we do that? Yeah, I have a website and okay. it has my Facebook link, all that good stuff. It's jbcimages.com. jbcimages.com. Yep, and right. I'm all there. All my stuff is there. Great. So do you think it's a good idea to actually meet with a photographer ahead of time? like days or weeks in advance of a photo shoot and actually interview with them and see if you're comfortable shooting with them? Well, my take on that is it, that's a case-by-case -case basis. Okay. Some actors really need to feel comfortable in front of their uh, photographers to get a great shot. And if they need to see me or talk to me or get advice, uh, I, by all means, I say do it. You have to do it. Some actors, they don't need it. They know exactly what they want. They go in and they do it. Here's my thing. Just like a movie set, you're not always going to like your castmates. Yeah. Not always going to like your director. And you can't let that... <laughs> Tell me about it. Gosh. And so you can't let that affect you, right? Yeah. So right. sometimes actors, they have to say, you know what, this is what I want, this is mm -hmm. what I want to achieve, and they let me know, and then we work together like as if we were on a production set. But mm -hmm. some say, you know what, this is my fe ho fe ho headshots, and I want to feel comfortable in front of my shots, so we, we always meet before then. So right. it, it, like I said, it's case by case on how you work. Hmm. Yeah. Great. Well, thanks so much for joining us here on The Casting Couch this week. And thank you for tuning in to The Casting Couch. Do not forget to like us on our Facebook page, The Casting Couch. I'm Todd Stroik, your host. I'm Carrie Kavanaugh. And we will see you next time on The Casting Couch. In California, paper hoes and playboys pump me full of celluloid. We keep it tight almost every night. Red copper style in the door to five, we do it right.